Here's a Daypole signal that I'm part way through modifying. Here you can see I fitted the servo and I've attached a fresh rod here and I just need to connect the two from the bottom to the top of the semaphore with a little bit of solder. So here's a detail of the servo mount. So it's attached to the wood here and I've put a Z-bend into the push rod and all I need to do to finish this is complete this solder joint here between the, the lower half and the top. And that is an engaged gauge Daypole semaphore. Let me show you one that I've already done. Here's an N-gauge Daypole semaphore mounted to my demonstration panel. And if I operate it a few times, you should see that the bounce is subtly different each time. I'm very pleased with the resolution and responsiveness of the Submicro servo and the quality of the bounce itself. The servo cost about £2. The modification on this one took about 38 minutes, 40 minutes. Very worthwhile, I think. And a few more seconds of the unit operating. And for size comparison, here's my big fat hand. So you can see just how small this is.